well youtube family this diddy situation doesn't stop it continues and it continues on well if you guys don't know what's going on well diddy's personal friend brendan paul is being described as diddy's alleged drug mule he's an ex syracuse hooper and he's been through the ropes of things and we'll look at that video a little bit later but you've been seeing him and diddy around each other for a while now he's 25 years old and this thing is a little bit deep now before we get deeply into this i need you guys to smash that like button hit that notification bell and thank you for rocking out with the i smoke hip-hop live movement so let's continue with this wild wild twister story here uh, now the article says that diddy and this guy here brendan paul the drug mule basically he was arrested monday while the rap mogul and his crew were stopped by federal agents but they came to diddy and diddy basically was never arrested or charged with anything but they've arrested brendan specifically because he's the one who had the paraphernalia on him and that kind of didn't sit tight of course with the feds and they used that finding the cocaine on him and marijuana on him actually in his luggages and he was released a few minutes later now before we get deeply into the weirdness of the relationship between him and diddy you guys got to know who brendan paul is he's not just some average joe he's if you're a sports fan you really know this guy he played with jim boheim's son in high school he averaged 14.5 points a game for one of the hardest high schools to play in the brewster academy so he's a, a, a good basketball player could play overseas professional don't know if he did i didn't do that far of a research but i looked at some of his basketball highlights and his acumens to see how substantial it is as far as him being this athlete that people are gushing over and saying and i'm gonna bring that up a little bit later in the video because it's just weird how diddy and him have this close tight-knit relationship 25 year old dude with this 40 50 something year old entrepreneur it just seems very weird but uh neither here or there these are the highlights of brendan paul as you can see he can shoot real well oh he can light it up he definitely can light it up on the court i compare him to reed shepherd i definitely compare him to reed shepherd of kentucky's basketball team because he has a precision shot damn this man is lethal with the basketball i'm not gonna lie to you guys okay now i don't know how the two correlate with each other being that diddy's home just got raided and ransacked and embarrassed it is kind of weird we know paul went to transfer to fairmont state university in west virginia after his time in new york he then uh basically fared much better on the court in his two years there recording 51 points 23 rebounds nine assists and 11 steals before college paul had a successful high school career alongside jim bowen's son i told you guys now as we previously reported paul was locked up monday and basically taken during the raid not just a home raid as you guys know diddy was in the airport and he got raided there as well and you can see paul over here with the blue baby blue that is a hoodie and speaking to some of the agents as they're getting ready to arrest him um just this whole thing is like a movie that's going to be made if you're going to be honest about it because so many people are going to fall down along with diddy and now the drug mule part people according to another dude by the name of rodney who said he used to be one of the mules for diddy now diddy gets these young dudes to do this for him now this is the video of diddy uh pacing around the airport when him and brandon was stopped from leaving i guess you wonder what's going to happen next diddy that's the one recorded him. clearly diddy is frustrated uh things are not going the way he needed and wanted things to go but with brendan this relationship between the two before getting stopped at the opalaka airport in miami is just a lot of people are asking what is a 25 year old white male doing with a black billionaire who's middle age at the best you know what i mean like these are some of the things that make you look at diddy more weirdly and go huh like is this 
one of the things that alleged to Diddy. Now, the Rodney dude, which was Rodney Jones, said in an explosive lawsuit last month that Paul was a close confidant of Diddy, who allegedly handled his drugs and his guns. Diddy, however, denied all of Jones' salacious claims and i don't know man some of these things are seeming to be real and true y'all let me know in the comment section what you think about all this are you for all this or do you think it's one big game being played with diddy and his likeness i don't know man let me know in the comment sections i'm your guy dj bless one the best one thank you for watching another episode of i smoke hip-hop live love your family love your kids and definitely stay blessed peace Trump term. So hit all wet tees wet. <laughs> and now her panties all wet. Came back around, spin the black with sock off fat. DJ bless one.